Hey, it's me, Clastar, and today I am bringing you my very first top five. The top five easiest maps in Call of Duty Zombies. I'm not basing this list off of maps that you can get to the highest rounds on, but more so the easiest for the average player to play, or what I found was easiest. For this list, I'm completely disregarding Gobblegum and Double Pack a Punch from Black Ops 3 because then every Black Ops 3 map would be on this list. And I'm also discluding the bank system from Black Ops 2. So with that, let's start the video! Starting off this list, in the number 5 spot is Kino Der Tota. Now this map at first glance doesn't seem that easy. Once you obtain the Thunder Gun and the stage to train, Nothing can stop you. The Thunder Gun can bail you out of nearly any situation. And the stage? You have so many options when training here. As long as you don't open that one door, you have Jug right at your disposal at the end of the walkway if you just happen to go down for some reason. I don't ask me why. And there are traps left and right to use in case you become low on ammo in your Thunder Gun. And you have to teleport just in case you need to escape. Now, this may not be the easiest zombies map, but still worthy of number 5. In the number 4 spot, we have Buried. This map is so easy, you only have to be good at zombies to get to a high round. First of all, it's nearly impossible to die with the Paralyzer if you use it right. Which instead of pulling it down, you take your finger on and off the trigger so you don't overheat as easily. And combined with Vulture Raid? Jeez, this map is already way too easy. But wait! If you go through the witch's house, about uh, once every five rounds, you get a free perk. Also, you have Leroy who can break down barriers, kill zombies, and you have the chalk drawings that are basically a free 1000 points. But wait, there's more! As if this map wasn't already easy enough, you have this thing called the Time Bomb. The way the time bomb works is that when you can throw it down, and at the moment you throw it down, you have the option to go back into that moment at the same round, guns, perks, and the amount of points you had when you threw it down. So if you go down, just use the time bomb, and it's as if you never went down. You might be wondering, why is this only number 4 then? The reason why is because this map is a bit challenging if you don't have the paralyzer, and there's nowhere to train. And I just found that the other three maps that are on this list were better, but it's good for number four. In the number three spot is the Reisendrach. In the Reisendrach, you can have four bows to use. The Void, Fire, Wolf, and the Lightning Bow. The Lightning Bow is unanimously the best out of the four, and in my opinion, the easiest to make. First, it's infinite damage and the kill radius of this weapon is unbelievably large. This weapon allows you to find anywhere to camp. You still won't die as long as you have the lightning bow. If you want to make it to a high round, all you need to do is get the lightning bow, find somewhere to stand, not camp, just stand, and have a backup plan for the panzer and just choose a round. What round do you want to go to? That's what round you can go to. Unlike Bird with a Paralyzer, the lightning bow kills zombies fast. You also have the Ragnarok DG4s, which can bail you out of nearly any situation. The only thing that will get in your way in this map is the Panzer. He isn't too hard, as long as you use the Death Ray and hit him in the right spots with a strong weapon. In the later rounds, the Panzer can get pretty tough though, which balances the map slightly, but still worthy of number 3. Coming in at number 2, we have Ascension. The most challenging part of this map is the monkey round. If you thought Kino was easy, this is on a whole new level of easy. You have the Thunder Gun again, but this time, you have a training spot even more OP than the stage. Also, you have the Gersh device, which is like a monkey bomb that actually kills the zombies. And you have the introduction of Stamina Up and PhD Flopper, which are such good perks. Maybe some of the best we've ever had. When you play other maps, you may always have that early round struggle, but then high round breeze. But on this map, it's just easy going the whole way through. That one training spot I was talking about is accessible after only opening 
one door from spawn. So you open that one door, and you're already at the most OP training spot, one of them, in the whole game. Just stay there, just rack up some points, and then within a couple rounds, you're completely set up. And then, it's just easy breeze all the way through. Ascension is the only the number two spot, but would have been number one if it wasn't for a few weeks ago. That's right! In the number one spot is Revelations. Even discluding the Gobble Gum and Double Pack a Punch, this map is still the easiest, and the easiest by far. First, you have two! Not just one, but two! Extremely OP Wonder Weapons that can be held at the same time! Maps with a Thunder Gun have been very popular in this map, but in Revelations, not only do you have the Thunder Gun, you have the Pothkin Servant, which are arguably even better than the Thunder Gun. And this time, it's upgradable. And the map already way easier than Shadows of Evil when it wasn't upgradable. And here's the best part. You get them out of the box! The Ragnarok TG4s, out of the box! So you can get it by round three if you're lucky. With these two weapons, any spot is a viable training spot. Where I am training right now, I have jugs literally feet away from me and it's still just one doorway over. In this very game, I got round 55, which is my highest in any zombies map, and I just gave my controller to my friend who never played zombies on Black Ops 3, and he got to round 58 before dying. For those of you who think, how could this be the easiest map when it hasn't been out for a month yet, I say, how can't this be the easiest map? And with that, Revelations comes in at number one. Whether you agree with my list or not, I hope you enjoyed the video. The fun part is, we all have our own opinion. So in the comment sections below, tell me what your opinion is. I'd like to know, what is your top 5 easiest maps in Call of Duty Church Zombies? And thanks for watching this video, a like and a subscribe would be well appreciated. And please comment if there's anything you'd like to see in the future, such as a certain challenge, top 5, another game. Like, I'm open for any suggestions. Just let me know, and with that, I'll see you in the next video!